What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with some more Anthem for you guys today and today we'll be discussing how you guys can go about getting more coins. Now coins are used to buy vanity items in the featured store, you can also use them to buy uh, javelin armor pieces for your javelins that will change the cosmetic look. Now you can see here that you've got armor packs, the Shrike armor pack, the Seeker armor pack and these all cost coins or you can cough out real money for shards. Now you don't really want to cough out the real money for shards. So this is purely for like vanity looks, so like cosmetic looks, it adds nothing in terms of armor and everything like that. You can see here, this armor pack is a full set of unlocks that allow you to modify the appearance of your javelin when equipped. This will have no impact on the javelin's combat power. So you can see that it's pretty much all just cosmetic. Now as well as that you can also use coins to craft, to purchase crafting materials. Now I personally would not recommend doing so because it will end up costing you a lot of money in the long haul. If by any chance you do need crafting materials I would just go about purchasing a small amount and then going out into free play with the particular javelin if you're after particular parts and doing so like that because that will be the best way to go about it and you won't have to continuously fork out money. So guys, how do you go about getting coins? You can currently see we've got 103,000 coins. Now, so far in my opinion, the best way to go about getting coins is by doing challenges. Now, if you come across into your challenges section, you can see that there is a whole heap of different challenges that you can accomplish. Now you can currently see here that each challenge grants you different sort of rewards. Now you can see here destroy scar turret and hives, 40 out of 50 grants us 1600 coins. That is a pretty solid amount of coins you can get there. Now you can see here each, each challenge has a set rewards amount and some grant coins, some grant gear. This is by far the best way to go about getting coins. Now while doing these you will obviously go into free play or raids or sorry not raids strongholds in order to complete these challenges. Now while doing so and after completing them you will actually grant yourself alliance XP. Now this alliance XP is great because pretty much what happens with alliance XP the more missions you complete the more alliance XP you gain the higher your alliance level becomes. Now once you reach a certain point in your alliance, you will get extra coins. Now you can currently see here once it finishes loading in, that we've got a couple of friends that are also playing Anthem and they actually give us coins at the end of the week. So you can currently see down in that bottom left corner it says weekly contributor bonus 2620. That means that at the end of the week in 4 days, 22 hours and 17 minutes, we'll get that much coin. Now, if our friends play a little bit more and they increase their alliance level, we'll also get granted more coins. Now, you can currently see here we've got Skidmark at 755 coins, then Ancient Eden at 555 coins. These guys are one level apart and that's 200 coins difference. So if you guys do end up joining in like with a squad during some missions and you decide to become friends with them, do so because it will net you more coins. That is one of the other ways to go about doing it and in the long haul is probably your best option because the challenges will eventually run out. Like you run out of challenges to do which means you'll stop getting money. Now I would recommend investing in some friends that do play Anthem even if you send some f friend requests to the people that you do missions with. I'm sure they'll accept because they will realize that the best way to go about getting coins is through the weekly alliance system. Now you can also complete uh, your dailies and your weekly and your monthly trials. These sometimes will grant you coins, it depends on what the rewards are, but they're normally distributed at the end of the time period. You can see here each one has different time periods and you have to make sure that you do it. So guys, that is the best way to go about getting coins. You unfortunately don't get any coins by selling anything or stuff like that, which is a little bit of a bummer. But like I said, these are the ways you can go about getting coins. I, for one, would definitely go about getting as many friends as you can on Anthem because it'll mean you'll get more coins in the long run. Now, this is per week as well, so there is that to consider as well, guys. So we're going to wrap up the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something in this. But other than that, I will catch you in the next one. This soul